Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to create these uh, viruses that you see here. So, go ahead and open up a new scene in Blender. Um, begin by deleting the default cube. Go into front orthographic mode and create an icosphere. Set it to three subdivisions and in the modifiers give it a bevel. That will kind of create uh, hexagons. Go ahead and make it a little bit smaller, so, or set the width, change the width, there we go, about uh, 0 0.0660 should create a good enough, maybe, maybe a little lower, there. So we'll just go with uh, 0 0.0570 and that should give us decent results. Hit apply and then tab into edit mode. Go ahead and uh, you can use, I think, control tab and to uh, change the select mode and click on faces. So now you're left with a bunch of hexagons and just select one of them hit shift G and click on material or I mean area sorry that will select everything with the same area as you can see so it selected most everything here um, there are a few pentagons so go ahead and select one that you see actually never mind there we go we don't need the pentagons Okay, so now with all of those selected, uh, stay in front mode, you can hit E, and then just kind of scale in. I'm going to change the uh, pivot point to individual origins, and then hit Alt-S, and we can change the size. There we go. Just like that. And then hit Alt S again. What that does is it changes how it uh, projects, I guess. So now we're moving along the the normals. So there we go. And maybe one more time. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, assign the tips to a group, calling that uh, tips. And if we hit Control and then Plus on the numpad, uh, we can create or we can select more. And I'm going to create a new group and call that uh, shafts. And then once more, actually maybe twice more. There we go, and call that base. So now, if we uh, select, that only grabs the tips, that grabs more, and that grabs the rest. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Uh, go ahead, set it to smooth shading, and uh, hit Control 2 to uh, give it a subsurf. So this is looking decent. We're gonna go in and we're actually going to deform it now so that there's a little bit more randomness. So do a simple deform and as you can see if we twist it it can get a little crazy. Just kind of play around there. Don't go make it look too unnatural. There we go. And then if we want a little bit more control, I'm going to create an empty. And then I'm going to create another uh, simple deform. And set the origin to the empty 
and set the vertex to group to the uh, tips. And now if we select the empty, let's just do more. Uh, that's not seeming to do anything. Um, that's supposed to uh, make it so that if we rotate the empty here, that the tips move, but that doesn't seem to be working, so never mind. Um, we can still use the limits to uh, move the tips around, so. It's up to you now. Uh, get it to where you like it. I think this looks pretty good. Um, so now, this is pretty well ready for um, textures and materials. We're not going to use cycles, so switch that over to Blender Render. And let's uh, just give that a quick render now. And it looks pretty bad. Um, so what we're gonna do, delete the default lamp, create a new lamp, a hemi lamp, and move it back along the Y, rotate along the X, negative 90 degree, nope, maybe, there you go. So just rotate it along the X 90 degrees. Now if we look at it, it's kind of a cool effect. Um, not quite what we want yet, but uh, you could probably use this for a microscope or something, microscopic effect. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this to a blend sky, turn the uh, horizon down to a very dark color, and with the default gray here, t take it and kind of push it over to the blue. Now if we render that, it's starting to look a little bit better. And now we're going to get into materials on the uh, on the virus itself. So create a new material. I'm going to call it virus. Give it a blue. So something like that should work. Set the intensity of the specularity down to uh, 0 0.1. Think hardness of 10. Uh, we're going to set that to ramp here, and then the uh, interpolation to B spline. There we go. Yep. Input to normal, and blend to add, I believe. Yeah. <coughs> there we go. We render that now. It's starting to look a little bit cooler. Um, I think this one needs a little bit of changing. So up, out there. There we go, miss the zero. And then there, that should be about right. There we go. We're getting closer. Okay. So now turn on transparency, set it to ray trace, uh, turn the alpha all the way down, same with the specularity, turn the IOR up to 1.2, 
If you were to render this now, you would see nothing at all. So go into textures now, hit new, and we'll use this cloud texture here to uh, influence the alpha. So set this to alpha, influence, and uh, check RGB to intensity. Now up here, we're going to do a little bit of work. So under colors, check ramp, set this one to 0.5, turn the alpha all the way up, and we are going to uh, change these colors, so 0 0.04242, all the way across. So it'll kind of create a gray, and then this last one, not quite black, so let's see, I went with 0 0.05072. Oops. Hmm. Darker. There. And just gonna turn up the uh, depth to five and turn the size down a little bit to uh, 0 0.15. If we render that now, we get kind of a nifty effect. Not quite done. Um, one more texture to, to uh, put in. Change this from clouds to distorted noise. Um, change this, or Leave it as color, but also check normal. And uh, please set this to add. Or is value on here? Yeah. So now, there we go. And I'm just going to turn this up to medium quality on both textures. Never mind, you only need to do that with bump mapping. Just give it a little bit better quality. So that's looking pretty good. Um, we can now play around with the scene a little bit. So this is kind of big for how close it is. So there we go. I'm just moving that up closer, and then I'm going to create another one. Actually, don't do it that way. Move it along the Y. This way we can uh, use the, um, what is it, the DOF to uh, make it look like this one's really close, so kind of a macro effect. Um, so, one more in there. Just rotating these for a little bit more randomness. So that looks pretty good. If we go ahead and give it a re render now, um, it should look decent. So these are looking pretty good. Um, let's go over into the compositor now. You hit uh, use nodes and backdrop, create a viewer node and, but first, let's go back over here and with the camera selected, uh, tell it to focus on the icosphere and sh display the limits. So, just like that, 
That looks fantastic. Might just rotate this a little bit. I don't know. Just play around with the camera to get it to a good position. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so back over in the uh, compositor, go ahead and uh, put in a, a defocus node, and then from the Z, connect that into the Z, and check use Z buffer. So, not much will have changed, but uh, go ahead and turn down the f-stop. Let it composite. And if you'll notice where the uh, limit is on the camera, it's fairly in focus. It doesn't look that in focus, actually. Um, I'm going to turn up the samples a little bit, maybe two. Hmm. I was a little bit afraid of this. Um, so instead of having it to zooming in on the icosphere, we're going to actually just go ahead and manually set it. So instead of having it be in the middle of the virus, we'll just have it at this edge, so right there. Hopefully that will uh, help things out a bit. we turn this down a lot, you will notice the uh, effects more. Yeah, so this area is in focus while the rest is way out of focus. So I'm just going to turn this up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more to 20. So play around with this and get it how you want it. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah, that looks fine. So, yeah, this pretty well concludes this tutorial. Um, if you want more viruses, just hit Shift D and drag it to where you want it. Um, yep, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.